What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we're back with some Sheffield Shield action as we head into round three at the Gabba against the Queensland Bulls. If you did join us last episode, you would have seen that we did the almost impossible, chasing a massive fourth innings total that the New South Wales Blues set us. We got the job done by two wickets. The big RDB himself got a couple of starts, didn't really do too much with the ball, but as you can see we're 71 overall and things are looking good we're not going to mess around here at the menu strap yourselves in ladies and gents this is the career of robin de bank welcome to the gabba our first time traveling away from home and boy have we got a team to play against today gorinda sandu michael nisa bryce street and joe burns headline a very strong queensland bulls team here today the coin goes up out in the middle we are very very tall looking hench as well as we call tails we know it never fails but on this occasion at the gabba it does do us she's a hard dry one plenty of sun around queensland have chose to have a bat radio robin fair about baby let's go the good thing about bowen at the gabba is that there's a little bit in it early for us robin de bank's gonna steam in for ball number one on day one joey burns is gonna let that one go through we've got to give ourselves a chance three catches in mid on mid off up as we're in oh yeah, good shapes although we hadn't taken too many wickets we have been economical we're in for the last of our first we asked the question hit outside the line one over is done and the bulls are none for none the left-handed Bryce Street gets us for the first of our second oh yeah, we're on the money first up as well I don't know what's happened there, but Street's got a single, and we go through to Burns, who drives, and he drives nicely through cover. He's going to get himself one. A cautious start. In for the last of our second. Street's there. He's back defending nicely. The over is complete, and the Bulls are three for none. There's just enough green in this early to keep us interested. As Burns gets the edge to backward point. Is it the additional pace? Is he a fraction nervous? Does he go in and play and miss? He does. This has been an over and a half. Can we clean up with the last ball? We don't, but he hits it. We runs. We get the run out. We don't. Cricket 24 just doing its thing. We just drag him forward enough. Oh. Tell you what, Joe, you're better off just kicking him over, son. This time he plays and misses. Talk about finding an area. The Gabba has given us plenty as he goes over the top. It's one in, one bounce. We have a quick spell and check the score here. It's 54 for none. Queensland after 17 overs. The captain brings himself back on and Street plays it to mid off. Very dot ball heavy here. Street to 33. Steps across, shows us his shins, and he's going to get a single down to fine leg. And now we've got Big Joe on strike. This time he's going to cover and shin. Just a touch nervous. You can smell it. Oh, as he whips leg side. A bit of a thrash, but he'll get a single. Nathan Ellis comes on, gets the wicket at 62 for one. As we go into Bryce Street, maybe an inside edge. We haven't gone to the short ball yet. I feel like the lefty wants it. Oh, no, he wants it in his mouth. Nathan Ellis has rolled in and taken a second. Both openers gone. 68 for two as Hazlitt leaves. Once again, just eyeing us off, getting used to the pace as we go short and we find our first bit of temple for the episode. Well, out of the 41 balls we've bowled, they've been interesting without any reward as we nip that one back. 22 are done and the balls are 68 for two. Got a knack of picking up wickets quickly oh how is that how is that that swung back nicely umpire's gonna say no he survives the lbw shout this over hazlitt we take some pace off it he whips it down a fine leg for a single that'll conclude the 24th just bring second slip into first slip oh we've hit him on the pad again that one's way outside nine overs get going we get sim through again we bring ourselves back on for the 46 the partnership has established itself well at 153 for two as our first balls in gets work leg side and that'll be a single to clayton no he's back for two first real time in the season that robin's had to bend his back as he hits him on the shin tower was that they're running in his home 
I'm getting sick of these inside edges and running. Oh, this time he whips us down a fine leg. Real big flick of it and he gets four. At least we're developing some type of hold. Here is another inside edges in. Run him out, run him out, Robin, run him out, Robin. And that is what he does. It's filthy cricket, but we need it. The umpire says you can go and we've got number three. Well, how many times have we seen this in the game now? He was tapping in to come back for two. Robin says no. Clayton's gone for 39. Maxi Bryant rolls in and i tell you what we're gonna have a go at him from around the wicket here we'll dig it in welcome him to the gabba what's he got oh a pull shot through square leg has he got all of that i don't think he does he'll get himself off the mark with a couple already into our 13th over oh and that's a schnick through gully for four we have yet another spell. We're in for the 64th, already into our 15th over. It's 220 for three. There is a first inning score to be had here. Anything short of a length, if not too much behind, it gets punished. Oh, that's a beauty. That was an absolute corker. Oh, this time it's going to get tickled down a fine leg and real fine as well. Don't think it's going to go to the boundary. Back to a couple of bumpers to finish the over. Oh, he takes it on. She's a good shot, but he'll just get the one, maybe two. The ball stops swinging. We take out Gully, put him at square leg, go to a straighter line as we get an inside edge. He's going to get a run out. Oh, no, he's not. Come a fraction wider of the crease. Back out angle and a bit of nip and there's the catch. Oh, I've spoken. You threw it to end the 68th. Robin is a master and that is as good as it gets. Yep, yep. Wide of it. Nip back. Back foot drive wasn't happening. That's a good catch at second slip by the draft himself, Geordie Silk. Maxie's gone for an annoying 32 and they are five down now queensland as we roll in for over number 70 there's no hesitation here as jimmy pearson faces his first ball at number eight as well at six down are we taking another wicket oh boy so tasmania are back on the surge led from rdb himself we hit the ankle and we do make some noise another spell 75th over this time, 245 for six. Pearson's off the mark with two, and we get driven down the ground first ball. Now have we got what it takes? Can we go short here to Bartlett? Yes, we do. It almost rolls on. The Jimmy pads back another dot ball. We're in again this time. He plays and misses. We ask the question. Well, the question is, who is going to crack first? Pearson in. Oh, boy, it does not look good at all. I think we have the new pill in our hand. Oh, you think we do? We've been hit for a couple of boundaries. Only 34 runs in 22 overs. Make it 38 with the Frenchie. Another spell is had. Let's have a squeeze at the pill. Yep, she was a newbie. Pearson's still out there on 21. Michael Neese has just rolled to the wicket. We've only got the one for and a run out, but she's been a good effort. You plays and misses. Couple of good plans. Good captaincy in general. We've literally given him every in-swinger possible. How about the out-swinger? Oh, that is as good as it gets. Jimmy Anderson, eat your heart out. That is the best ball we have ever bowled. It does not get any better than this. I am sorry. The in-swinger, in-swinger, out-swinger decked away. He played all around it. There's the off peg. See you later. And the RDB has got number two. We've bowled 22.5 overs. We deserve another one at least. Garinda faces up. Ooh. Oh, he's back trapping 89 a done and it stays at 276 for eight. Well, I'm sorry, but that wicket was legit. Oh, my days. Well, I hope you're enjoying the extended highlights because this has been a shift. Michael Neese had one off 18. Full of ball. Mm, he works it through mid wicket. He'll get himself a couple, I think. So Gorinda gets the last of the 25th. He looks to go over square leg. We ask the question. I feel like this could be the last ball of our spell. Oh, it's in at the toes. It's going to be a single out to fine leg. It'll wrap up the 96th and it's 284 for eight. 
And yep, we do get Sim through, and it is now time to have a hit. Oh boy, let me check this out. So we roll the balls for 317 in the 112th. Rainbird picking up three. We picked up a couple, got a run out, and thought we were doing a half decent job until we pick up the willow and pick up play at 86 for four. We trail by 231 runs. Jackie Wildermuth rolls in. We don't face the first ball. We wait a little bit. In fact, we only wait one ball, and here we are on strike to Jakey Wilder Muth. He rolls in. He's fast. We get forward and defend. And I'll tell you what, she's going to be a low innings. I think we're just going to have to hold the fort here for the time being as we play and miss second up. You know, these bulls are good in their own conditions. As we shuffle forward and play and miss again, just looking for that partnership to get us to about 160 as we get the leading edge over cover. It's going to end the 22nd with a boundary. Our first runs and the Tigers go to 93 for four. Well, not the way that we really wanted to get off the mark, but we will take it as we open up the blade to backward point dot ball. The Quartz Silk Boulder Bank. This time we're going to slash and slash beautifully through Gully. Is it going to go all the way for four? It's not, but she's long, long, long out at the Gabba and we're back for three. You'd expect quite a few short balls at the Gabba and especially with this attack as well as we drive and we're very slow out the blocks. The dive gets us home. So the 100 comes up. We've lost Jordan Silk and things are going to get very tough. Yes, one thing we can do as the captain batting at six is really take over the tail end, farm the strike and play shots like that as we bang it through the vacant mid-wicket region and get another boundary. So double figures, 14 balls face. Dallas down the other end, yet to face one as we drive. We'll trust him here and get through for a picket fence. And it's always going to be an issue having five fast bowlers and a spinner when it comes to batting, but we've just got to trust what we do here in Tasmania and accumulate runs and overthrows. No. Still haven't seen Garinda yet as Wildemar Sin is full and we smoke this through wide mid on. That's a beautiful shot. We'll call Alice back for two. He's fast. Well, it's almost a shot of ball at the moment. As Wildermuth's in for the last, we get another leading edge. It goes over cover. Why hasn't he jumped? Oh, boy, we'll take the boundary. 28 are done, and she's 115 for five. The two boundaries, leading edges over cover, and we're 20 off 20 as Bartlett rolls in, and we punch him down the ground beautifully for a couple. Yes. They persist with this 7-2 field. It's disciplined bowling outside off stump until he gives us the slower ball half volley that we pump down the ground for a boundary. Oh, that is the best of the lot. So controlled aggression from the RDB. The last of the 29th is here. We slash to the man at third slip. Alice gets through for a single 29 are done, and it's a 1-2-3 for five. One of the great calls, the one, two, three for five, as Steckity's in, and we can drive him to extra cover. He's hesitated. Nathan Alice is keen, and he's back for two beautiful stuff. But you look at the scorecard, and you go, they're trailing by just under 200, but you look for little wins in momentum here. We were out in the 30s twice last match, looking to put that one behind us as we get a short ball and play miss again. We've only got the three men on the offside now. Does he stay short? Oh, no, he doesn't, but we get a thick outside edge and we'll take a boundary through backward point. Oh, he did us all ends up. One thing you can't do on these difficulty settings is premeditate because if you go back to a fuller one, she is lights out as we drive and we drive nicely through cover. Do we come back for two? No, we'll keep it at one. So Alice doing a solid job. Steckity in. He goes short this time. We pick it up. We go aerial. Does it beat the man at square leg? It doesn't, but we're back for two. Good cricket. He's going short ball, fuller ball. Does he go the short ball this time? No, he's fuller. And we guide it to the man at short third for a dot. Any width that needs to go. There's a short ball. There it is. We go aerial again. No muscles in this. So we come back for two. We don't. Another fielder comes over to the offside. Does he go short? He does. We play and miss. The Steckity continues. Alice three off 12. That's a short ball that we worked a short third man. And well, I was going to say we've shown some faith in Nathan Allison. He's gone and got himself out. The last of the 34th is here. We slash this down to third man. Backward point is chasing. Can we come back for three? I've totally messed that one up. 34 are done and it's 139 for six. They take a wicket and they're back to that short ball plan. As we get a half volley and we drill that into the gap, we'll come back for a couple more. 
Once again, just getting short balls that we miss. Last of the over. There's another short ball. A thick outside edge. It's going to go to the boundary. And now it's up to Freeman. So Freeman couldn't get the job done. It's 149 for seven. Wildermuth rolls in. We've got a man at deep backward point. Well, they've taken out pretty much all of our scoring shots here as we get a wide one again. And Michael Nisa, two for 21. The 150's up, seven down. We can shuffle across, go over mid-wicket, and there we go, ladies and gents. Another 50 to the RDB. Captain RDB at that. It goes all the way to the boundary for four. 52 or 56 seven boundaries he's only gone and done it again and he keeps his team's head above water for the short term 4.04 and over nisa rolls in again we walk at him this time go over the top oh boy this is robin he's the absolute peak you love to see it well, back-to-back -back boundaries and the rest. Nisa, and again, we open up the face. Dot ball. We open up nicely. Last of the 39th. Sees us go across our stumps again. We take the single. It's perfect batting. You bring up your 50. You close out the over, and the Tigers are 160 for seven. We keep pushing forward here. Wildermuth wide of off stump. We drive to the man at short cover. Just keeping Riley Meredith out of it at the moment. There's the full toss leading edge short cover. One and one bounce. And even if we do want to open the hands here, I think second slips all over it. Oi! The last of the over. Can we get across? Oh, yes, that we do. We take another single and we keep the strike for next over. Yet to see Garinda. Yet to see a spinner. We've got 58 on the board. A half volley from Nisa that we say no run to. Now that run rate just pushes under four. Nisa's on the body. Thank you very much. I thought I hit that a little better than what we did, but we'll take one. Starting to miss time a lot of balls here as we get a leading edge. One and one bounce. And the pressure just starts to build that little more. He's in for the last of the over. That's an inside edge. They appeal to the umpire. Suck eggs. Queensland, we're home for one. You beauty. Michael Nisa, right arm around the wicket. Does he go short? Yes, he does. We take it on. It lollipops up and just over the ring for one. Well, we get a little bit excited with the short ball. We've gone the single first up, and it's cost us a wicket here as we're now eight down. Now it might just be the time for us to take over and take him on. And that's exactly what we do. We go back to the comfort shot. It's whipped off the legs and it's a boundary. The Wildermuth has got through a fairly decent over here. We go leg side, we play a miss. It's the end of the 44th and it's 172 for eight. The Rainbird goes and gets us a single on the fourth ball. We need now one for the last of the 45th. We got it to short third and he gets home. Good running. A Garinda after his eight overs, three for 30. We finally face him as he's four and we go alpha male only over backward point. It's going to skip away and go to the boundary. Yes. Well, at four for 40, he might have got us. If we've got a free pass here, it's going to be a run fest, and we get a thick outside edge for four more. We get the last of the ninth. Is he short? He's not. We go whip over mid-wicket. Now, I hope this doesn't go all the way. The fielder puts in the dive. No, it goes for four. So the six rocks that we gave Rainbird, he's found a way to go out. And now we are nine down and almost dragging it on. It could be all out for under 200. And we have a red inker as we go leg side again. It's our easy stroke. We seem to time it best. Does it go for four? It does. And now we're up to 82. Trail by one, two, seven. We get a ball that we should smoke for six and we miss. Ah, uh, one boundary and over. He's not going to cut it. As Sandu's in again, we get the lollipop over cover this time. It's going to be another boundary. We're going to get ourselves to 86 and well within a shot of a tunny. All of that hard toil with the ball. Now we get an opportunity with the bat. Sandu in for the last of his 10th all. We get hit in the throat. We've got to take the single. We keep the strike. Yes. Stekity now into the attack. Can we get 14 off this over? We go over the top of mid-off. Have we got enough sauce on the hot dog? Yes, we do. It's going to skip away for four. How good does it feel when you bat without fear? Stekity in again. It's a green zone ball. No, we've put it down his throat. We've put it down his throat, and that's the end of the RDB. That is disappointing.
Well, he wanted to go up and over. I had deep mid on back, man. We've put it straight down his throat. It's not the best batting, but I didn't trust the number 11. And we are gone for 90 off 98 balls. Tasmania all out for 199 in reply to Queensland's 317, which gives us a deficit of 118 going into the second innings. Ladies and gents, we are going to leave it there for today's episode. This is the extended highlights of this match and I tell you what, there is going to be plenty more to come. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button leave a cheeky comment down below make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well. But until the next one, look after yourselves, look after those around you. A 90 off 98 for Robin and I'll catch us all in the next one.